All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna discuss remote hose clamp pliers. Check it out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Okay, so these are the Mayhew 28680 remote hose clamp pliers. These are one of the handiest pair of pliers you can ever own in your toolbox. They feature a root fucking focus. They feature a 24 inch long cable, which is great for getting in hard to reach places. And, um, also, as you can see here, they lock in many different positions. So as you squeeze them, once you get to the point of the teeth, they begin to click and lock into place. The great thing about these is that over time, this cable will stretch just like any brake cable or anything like that because it is the same type of design. It will stretch and you will need to replace it. Okay, so they will stretch and you will need to replace them. The great thing about this is you can replace just the cable. You do not have to buy a whole new tool. The body of this tool is metal and it has plastic handles with rubber grip inserts. Also the name, the brand name is a inlay in the rubber, which is a very nice touch. The color scheme is very nice as well. This same brand, Mayhew, makes the snap-on version as well. The snap-on is part number SHCP1A and they look exactly identical except for being at a 90 degree angle they're straight up and down so it's like a Y or an X I should say and it's the same concept same mechanism same everything except where it says Mayhew here it says snap on and then snap on's part number everything is identical now how this tool works is obviously they're designed for the factory hose clamps the butterfly style and then you have these two teeth right here that grab the pull, that grab the clamp I should have brought a clamp to show you guys I'm sorry but these hook on and then fucking black background just like he said and then as you squeeze you can see that squeeze the clamp taking the pressure off, allowing you to slide the clamp back and remove the hose. Very, very creative design and a very useful tool. If you don't have this in your box, you should definitely have this. Now, the Snap-on pair, again, retails for $133. And if you use the link in my description, you can get these exact Mayhews for $62.20. It is less than half the price, and it's the same exact tool, except that these ones are at a 90 degree angle. I'm sure both of them have their pros and cons if you need an extra inch of space or something to work with, but I've never run into that problem. Um, I borrowed these and borrowed these, and I just finally had to get my own pair, so I did. I ordered them off the internet as well. I just, I couldn't pay the $133 from Snap-on. To me, it's just the same exact brand, same everything, same color scheme, same everything, except it says Mayhew here. I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. These are a great addition to your toolbox. Again, if you don't have them, you should seriously look at getting them because they will save your ass in a pinch. It's a very sturdy design. They're not going to break on you. And if they do break, Mayhew carries, um, I believe it's a lifetime warranty on this section. But the cable section, you will need to pull out of your own pocket if you're looking to replace that in the future, if it begins to stretch and not work properly. So another cool thing I should mention about this is the stowing options. When you put this in your box, it has these little slots in the bottom of the handle which allow you to fold this over and clip this in here to save storage space in your toolbox and to keep it a bit more organized. This was simply a short video 
to pretty much show you that not everything you buy has to be from Snap-on. And chances are if it's a specialty tool and it's branded Snap-on, it's usually made by another company where a bunch of other companies use the same item and just stamp their logo on it. Now Mayhew is supposed to be the best company for these type suppliers and I can't say that I dis disagree. I mean they're good enough for Snap-on to use and we all know Snap-on just doesn't stick their name on anything. Maybe sometimes they do. But at the end of the day, you don't have to have everything snap on in your box. If you choose to, then so be it. That's your choice, 110%. To each their own. We can't sit here and argue with people in the comments section about how upset we are because they choose to waste their money on snap on or buy snap on items. You know, if you've been turning wrenches for a long enough time, you're bound to have something snap on in your box. Me personally anymore, I choose to go the route of just buying snap on hand tools unless there's something that's a really good deal and even then I choose to buy them off of eBay or other places however I do still buy tools off the truck it's just hard not to go on there and buy not buy anything just try and always keep that in mind before you judge somebody in the comments section about how stupid they are how dumb they are because they bought snap-on tools it's no different than say someone buying a Toyota and you buying a Mercedes. You wanted the Mercedes for a reason, whether it was to make a statement or just because you like Mercedes. It's your own choice, it's your own decision. Let everyone make theirs. What they do with their money is up to them. Now again, the link for this tool will be in the description where it's $62 and 20 cents opposed to Snap-on's version which is $133 and again if you want the Snap-on version by all means buy it. It is slightly different. I'm not sure if Mayhew designed that specifically for Snap-on or if you can get that style in Mayhew as well. I'm not entirely sure. Also purchasing this from the description and clicking on the link significantly helps me and I really do appreciate it. Even if you don't want to buy this tool and you plan on shopping on Amazon, please by all means use the link in my description to get to Amazon. You do not have to purchase anything but as long as you use the link to get to Amazon and continue doing your shopping then I will get a commission and it helps the channel out greatly. Also again I just want to add that the merch will be up and ready to go soon. Still designing some things. I have to send all my designs to Garnett so he can throw them on the website. And just to clear things up, Garnett and I are not combining as channels. We are simply sharing a website for merchandise and other designs. You know, whether it be your own custom design that you want to transform into your own vinyl sticker or whether you're a YouTube channel and you'd like to go a cheaper route and have your merch made by us rather than a more expensive company. Granted, you might be able to find it even cheaper than us, but it might be hard. And the quality product we use is very, very high quality and it is guaranteed to last at least five years on the vinyl stickers. Uh, again, we will be carrying it first uh, vinyl decals and mugs and then we will move up to the t-shirts once all the stock comes in for the t-shirts and the vinyl and everything we need to start making the shirts comes in I do have some stuff but I want to wait till we get it all so we can mass produce and so that there's no back orders if there's anything's ever not in stock it will not be sold and you cannot pre-order there will be no pre-orders if we do not have it we will not sell it shipping also will be significantly faster than the Bruce Allen Express because we now have someone dedicated to shipping, which means shipping will be done three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. There's no question about this. So from the day you order, from the day you purchase your order, whether if it's on a Monday, that means Wednesday you will get a tracking. If it's on a Wednesday, then you will have your tracking on Friday. Keep that in mind when ordering. But all that will be listed on the website. Um, and there will be no question about it. It will all be plain as day on the website for everyone to read. So no mistakes are made. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little shorter. I wanted to keep it on the short side this way here. I could show you guys a cool new tool and also, you know, show you guys that you don't always have to buy Snap-on. If you, again, if you choose to, that's up to you. But this gives you another alternative. Everyone likes to have options. Oh, one more thing. Hang on.
I know you guys haven't seen him in a bit. Here you go. He's very much so alive still, and he's ready to go. He's been on like a three-day sleeping binge, but he's up and ready to rock. So, I know you guys have been wanting him in the videos. He'll be more shortly with his own narrations and his own opinion on things, because we all know he's kind of a dick. So, say what's up. He said, say what's up. Huh. Keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh 